Here at Sanctuary Hostel, we believe the solution to many animal-related issues lies in proper education. That is why we have created the Animal Care Toolbox for animal lovers and everyone in between to have access to information about basic animal care. Cats have claws, and sometimes, as all cat owners know, those claws can be destructive. In the 1950s, a procedure known as declawing began to grow in popularity as a means for cat owners to prevent their pet's destructive habits. Unfortunately, many cat owners are unaware that this procedure is far more traumatic than simply removing your cat's sharp claws and comes with many risks of its own. Declawing a cat involves amputating not just the animal's claws, but the last joint from each toe. On a human, an equivalent surgery would be as if each of your fingers were removed at the last knuckle. While the removal of the cat's toe and claws does prevent unwanted scratching, it also takes away the animal's primary method of defense and causes many long-term physical and behavior problems. Declawed cats often suffer nerve damage, pain, and lameness, sometimes causing an aversion to using their litter boxes and an increased chance of biting and aggression. Sometimes these behavioral changes lead to the cat being surrendered to a shelter. As awareness increased about the inhumanity of this procedure, several countries banned the practice altogether. In the United States, however, the practice continues in all but New York, Maryland, and a select few cities. Luckily, there are many alternatives to choose from to keep your cat from scratching. For a cat that likes to sharpen his claws on your couch, consider investing in some scratching posts. These come in a variety of sizes and textures, so your cat is certain to find something he likes. You can also keep your pet's nails trimmed to limit the damage he can do. If you're afraid of getting scratched doing this, most veterinarians will happily do this for you. It is also important to train your cat from a young age to prevent aggression and unwanted furniture clawing. Ask your veterinarian or local pet supply stores for training resources. The more pet owners are made aware of the facts behind the process of declawing cats, the less common it will become. To find out more, visit us at www.sanctuaryhostel.org. Let's build a world where all creatures can live in harmony.